All right, so the next step is Amulus. Amulus setup? All right. Amulus Package Manager is an open source program that organizes, merges, and builds model loadouts for Persona games. Okay, sounds good so far. The big list in the Amulus window is called the grid. Skip, skip, skip. All right, so Amulus, aim, I don't know how to pronounce that. Amulus needs a bit of setup before we can dive into customization. First launch, we're going to go into open P4G Mods Tools Amulus Package Manager folder and, and launch Amulus Package Manager.exe. So let me get to that real quick. I'm not going to close Reloaded, so I'll keep that open off screen. And let me go back to this. So I'm in my own personal Persona 4 Gold MP 4G Mods Tools folder. And I'm going to Omulus Package Manager.exe. All right. So it looks like some of the stuff is loaded, so that's good. Make sure the box in the top left says Persona 4 Golden. It does. Click the config button to open the config window. Uh, I'm assuming this is this. Set the file pass. Omulus needs to know the location of your Persona 4 Golden Mods folder and reloaded2.exe in order to function. So let me copy those again. And it looks like the picture should look similar to this one. So let's try and emulate that. It's not going to let me do that. Oh, I can't even paste it in. Jesus. All right, so cancel that. Let's go to reload it to first. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I wonder what that output folder is. Why does it say invalid.exe? All right, don't worry about that later. Um, the output folder is the Persona 4 Golden Mods folder, okay. Oh, it's within the Steam. Okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we're still looking at this. So it says make sure the empty SND folder and use CPK structures box are both checked. And they are. Omulus needs to unpack the archives from P4G's data to a folder named original. So we can merge packages together in the config window. Make sure the box in the bottom right says English parentheses data e.cpk. English data, yep, that's there. Click unpack base. Okay. And now it's doing its thing. Man, this is going to be a long ass tutorial. Like, I like modding every game that I have, and I swear sometimes it takes me like a few hours just to get all this nonsense correct. So I'm going to try and not waste too much time once I go back to edit this video, and you'll probably see like a whole bunch of cuts and edits and all that other nonsense. All right, look at that. Finished unpacking. It says click OK to close the finish unpacking. We already did that. Now we get to customize the loadout. Now for the fun part, choose which mods you'd like to actually use. Enabling and disabling packages. Click on a package to get more information about it on the right side of the grid. Excuse me. So I guess we can close this. 
Okay, so yeah, as you can see, once I click on a, a mod in the option, it gives me a small, very small words over here on what it actually does. So that'll be helpful. To enable a package, make sure it's checked. As you can see, some are checked, some are not. To disable, uncheck it. Important note, make sure only one of each each of these is enabled. Controller UI overhaul, probably not gonna mess with that. Useful calendar. With spoiler free or with spoilers, port portraits, can't read. All right, so basically, I guess some of these mods give you options between you know, one or the other. Obviously, you don't want two of the same similar type of mod on or it's gonna cause conflicts, that makes sense. So, based off of the stuff that I read, um, <laughs> this says enabling disabling dividers won't do any won't do anything okay so we can leave that alone so title screen fix we can leave that on restores attacks that were missing from the culprit boss fight in the pc port of persona 4 gold and we can leave that on for some reason people didn't like the fact that Do dojima doesn't blink in the game so they put a mod in for that i'm gonna leave that on Mini map fix for the dungeon, leave that on. Command menu fix, leave that on. Clean title bar, um, just leave it on. All right, so now for the overhauls, we'll leave textures on, quality of life scripts, which is awesome. You'll see that in the game. Kojima's coffee is good, produce store is good. These are fixes for making the game quicker. Um, I already beat the game, so I'm not trying to do like a walkthrough for people. I'm just playing it for fun to record it on YouTube. So I'm gonna leave these cheats. These are basically cheats in. They say it says balancing, but this shit is cheats. Hyperspeed reading, max knowledge bonus when you're studying, and always great blessing at the shrine. We're gonna turn off the no TV static because you don't need that. I don't want to see that. Useful calendar. So I'm gonna do useful calendar with spoilers to save myself time. I'm going to leave the lunch invitations on because I like people talking to me at lunch. I'm gonna turn off. Stop wasting time on social links at night because somebody in one of the comments said that there's a bug and they reported the bug like nine days ago. Today's uh, April 25th, 2021. So I don't know. I think this is the one that had the bug. I could be wrong. I'll go back and look at it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it off because I don't mind wasting time or actually. Yeah, let's just leave it off. Fifth dungeon key prompt. Leave that on. We're not going to use the ultimate persona compendium. Because I'm just going to play regularly. Actually, what does this do? It allows the protagonist to be to be registered. You can only do this in New Game Plus once you have fulfilled a certain... Actually, maybe I should leave that on. Save myself some time. We are going to leave... Well, I looked at the delicate music tweaks. This is version 4.0. Which version was the one that I looked at? Let's see. Delicate... Here we go. game banana so they got version four point how the hell do i update this then hmm Okay, now, now I'm confused. I think I think I figured it out. Um, I was able to download the delicate music tweaks, the, the most updated one, um, and replace it. And it looks like it worked because it has 4.1.1 right here. But it's not showing the other folder. And I don't know if that's because it automatically overwrites. Like the newer one, only the newest one shows. So I am going to remove the old one, put it somewhere. All right. So I think I wasted way too much time on that. I'm going to have to, by the time you come back to this, I will, I will have updated this to 4.1, as you can see. So we're going to leave that in there and hope to goodness it works. Genesis loop fix, um, adjust a music track. Corrected battle portraits, we'll leave that in there. 
P5 Strikers font. Um, I haven't even played P5 Strikers, so I'll just leave it alone. Turn that off. Controller UI overhaul for modern. Enables only one controller UI overhaul package. Replaces the controller UI with all new icons that are higher quality, more legible, and more colorful. I guess that matters. Doesn't really matter, but I'll leave it on. With a plain blue one. Does that really matter? Ah, just leave it there. Uh, we're going to leave on detailed descriptions for the menu. Config clarity persona animation plus is nice. Replace the persona three calendar and protagonist room with the persona five strikers calendar. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just leave that on. So here's some, here's some more cheat stuff. Um, I'm going to leave off the fishing one just to, cause fishing is easy. But we're gonna turn on all this all these cheat sheets so I don't have to keep going back to Google every damn time I want to do something. So yeah, I think I got on most of the mods that I need and want. Like I said, I hope I don't need to enable this because it says you don't need to. So we'll leave that off. So that should be good. All right, what's the next step? Okay, good. So Omulus needs to build your loadout and the Persona 4 Golden Mods folder once you've finished customizing it. Once you start building, Omulus will delete everything. Okay, so we don't have anything in there, so that doesn't matter. So we're gonna click the build button once you're ready, and I'm ready. The build button is right here, little hammer. And it's doing its thing, as you can see, copying over packages. All right, so it says that it's finished building. I'm gonna click okay. And then it says, click the rocket launcher to launch Persona 4 Golden to call Reloaded 2 and launch P4G. Or you can just use the Reloaded 2 shortcut you created earlier, which is way easier. One last tip, save the game often and on multiple save slots. I already do that, so that doesn't matter. And then we have extras. Head over to the extra section for instructions on adding custom packages. Installing high quality Japanese voice, creating the shortcut, removing the 60 frame. Okay, so I don't really need any of that. So now my next test is just to make sure I can actually get into the game. So I'm gonna turn on my controller. There we go. All this stuff should already be magically enabled. And then let me get back to this did it again okay so it's set to launch the rocket ship so we're going to do this as a test and yeah it wants to access this even though it already has access well that wanted to access the network for some reason so, so far, so good. It's starting. And I'm going to launch my most recent save because it said it, as long as your game is unmodified, you will be able to do stuff. And my game was unmodified until now. So where did I save last? 42, 16, 21. Let's do 42. And the first thing I want to check is the mod menu. I can view the calendar from here. Some of the stuff's working. Pretty sure this is working, but I don't want to go in there and crash it since I'm not supposed to have access to it. Yeah, I can't even get into my regular menu. So yeah, I think it's working. We're just gonna 
get back into the gameplay on the next video and then go from there and see what you guys actually notice. Hopefully this tutorial helped you somewhat. Um, I think it was a little bit longer than it needed to be, but I, like I said before, I strongly suggest you read up on all what the, the mods offer for options and then just pick and choose what you want and go from there. Otherwise than that, take care until next time.